What's up guys, Emil here from Chase in LA. I'm here in Hollywood, California at the Los Angeles premiere of Chocolate City. We're gonna talk to some of the stars from the film. It's definitely an exciting time. So let's talk to them right now, come on. Yeah, but tell us about your role in the film. So I play Slayer uh, in the film. Wait, is that your stripper name? I like that. Yeah, I guess Slayer. that's my stripper name. I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna I'm own it, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, yeah, so I bring the Latino love to the, to the film. Yeah? Yeah. What was it like on set? Because I've heard from a lot of the actors that the women in the audience really wanted the show. Man, it was, uh, the energy and there was incredible. I actually want to do it for a living now. I think I'm changing professions. First of all, I know that you play um, Robert Richard's girlfriend, the film Carmen, but were you able to actually go on set when they were filming the stripping scene? You know what? I was lucky enough to catch the last two days of yeah. them filming that and the dude was great. I was very happy. I was I was dying in my seat. I was watching it. I was like, woo, this is awesome because I get to see it up close and personal for free. Right. You know what I mean? I felt like I was at a real strip club and the guys were amazing. They were killing it. Why do you think we should be so excited about this film? I mean, besides the obvious reason, is sexiness. I, I think you know. I think I think black male sexuality is 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 taboo in Hollywood, uh, or considered taboo. And um, and this is a film that celebrates it. Right. And it's fun. And it's not doesn't make you feel sleazy or icky. It's it's just a fun film. And and I think. People will be pleasantly surprised at at um, the overall tone of the film. Why are you excited about this film? Uh, you know, a friend of ours did the film. Uh, you know, friends of ours are in the film, and uh, you know, I had a small cameo, and so we want to come out and support tonight. Uh, I have some great friends in this film. Yeah. Yeah, and with large assets, so you know, and a lot of talent. So I'm excited. Uh, one, well, my buddy is the producer, yeah. John Claw Lamar, and uh, you know, I support everything he does, and. Uh, some of my other partners in the film, Tyson and those guys, and, and just come out. And, you know, I'm trying to get my little daughter in the business, so coming out, and network a little bit, and support my friends. You know, what's up, guys? I'm here with King, who plays Bishop King in Chocolate City, and you say you're you're in the strip club in the movie. <laughs> yeah, I am in the strip club and in the church. So this movie is really staying true to real life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's <laughs> what I say. A lot of people ask me and say, what, "Would a reverend really be in the strip club?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My would father's a pastor. He would not be in the strip club. He though. might be. No, but he no. You no, might no. not know about it, no. though. He's not going to tell us that. That wouldn't be in the strip. Hey. You know, you know the premise of the story is, you know, he's making a little extra cash. Right, right, right. Would you support your children if you found out they were doing that? Um, I mean, I would be a little sad because I'd be like, why didn't you come to me? But <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I'd have like, plenty. <laughs> right, right. I'd be like, dang, that's what you come to. But, um, you know, honestly, if it was a passion of theirs, I think exotic dancing is so sexy nowadays and it's become such a part of our culture that um, if they wanted to try it out, I'd be like, you know what, do your thing. You know, if you had the body for a rocket. So, yeah. I am a restaurant owner in Chocolate City, a, a tightwad. Yeah. So he's related to Mr. Omar from everybody in Scripps for sure, you know. But it's a great role. I love, I love making people laugh. I like being this sort of old you know, grouchy. Right. <laughs> they can get on people's nerves, but can also make the audience laugh. And what advice would you give to an up and coming dancer or dreamer out here who's just trying to chase their dream? Never stop dreaming. Never stop dreaming and keep working, man. Um, you don't really have to talk a lot. You just have to do a lot. Just keep doing what you love and eventually it all comes together. Some people have like a quote they live by. Do you have a quote that you live by? Stay honest to yourself. You know, um, stay true and work hard. I love it. You really got to believe in yourself and if it's your dream, make it happen. All right, guys, that's a wrap. We're going to go inside and catch the film right now, but make sure you check the film out May 22nd, AMC Theaters and On Demand. Are you ready to feel the magic? I am. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Make sure you check out my full interview with Chocolate City star Robert Richard and more interviews right here on Chasing LA. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.